what have y'all gotten, especially your boy Jay, into? Guys, what's up? Welcome to Rob Squad's Home Theater with your boy Jay. And your girl Amber. And y'all see the title. We've told y'all in our other videos, I don't do scary movies, y'all. And I've watched scary movies in the past. I just didn't do a lot of gore. And I've heard a lot about Silence of the Lambs, just never seen it. I don't know how this is going to go, to be 100% honest with y'all. Y'all probably going to want to stick around to the end just, just to see how I handle through scary movies. From a kid to now, nah, ain't with it. But... Y'all suggest that y'all been begging us for it. I'm going to give it a shot. There's certain movies that have traumatized me that have been scary. Ooh. So I hope this isn't one of those that I have to watch like a happy cartoon afterwards to like, you know, get my mind switched back over. We'll see. Enough talking. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into it. Sit back, relax. Let's go. nervous for this I think you and the RSR fam just want me to be freaked out and scared well I could never get him to watch a scary movie so this is cool nope don't do it I already don't like the setting girl running through the woods by oh, herself it's beautiful scenery it reminds me of how I grew up so it's not that's not creepy to me yet Till something jumps out. <sighs> that is super cool. They'll run through the woods and then you hit these obstacles. <laughs> oh, well, for you. Amber's the runner, y'all. Your boy Jay, I, I can't hit them miles like Amber does. You think you could climb a rope to the top? No, absolutely. I'm not rope? even. No, I'm not even going to pretend. <laughs> I could climb a rope, but I couldn't do that all that running. Behavioral science. That's to me is the coolest part of the FBI. Criminal minds is like behavior. Oh, your science. show. Yeah. Oh goodness. Bill skins. That is skinning people. From a research point of view, Lecter is our most prized asset. Dude must be twisted. Oh, he's a cannibal, I believe. You know, we get a lot of detectives. They be eating people. Will you be in Baltimore overnight? This can be quite a fun town if you have the right. Ugh. <laughs> now, I'm sure this is a great town, Dr. Chilton. Too sophisticated for the standard tests. Oh my, does he hate us. Thinks I'm his nemesis. So he's a really, really smart crazy cannibal clever isn't he using you they keep calling him doctor if he attempts to pass you anything do not accept it do you understand i, him, like, I understand locked sir. up locked up behind bars and bars and bars save one of her eyes his pulse never got above 85 even when he ate her tongue his what? pulse never raised Lecter feels that you're his enemy then um well maybe we'll have more luck if i go in by myself wow i'm scared for her yes sir then i I would have missed the pleasure of your company. <laughs> when she's finished, bring her out. This is a weird feeling. Like, he eats people, and they sent you in because you're his type. I want to see what this dude looks like. I know. I'm here for you. Oh, yes. That's very good. Thank you. I'll be watching. You'll do uh -huh. fine. They're making this to seem so creepy. I know. What a scene. So these are the worst of the worst down here in the dungeon. Look at his cell. Oh. Dr. Lecter, my name is Clarice Starling. Can I speak with you? May I see your credentials? <laughs> Certainly. He's sitting in the jail says, hey, God, let me see your credentials. He, he does seem like super just... Closer. Don't give me your personal information, they said. Closer. That expires in one week. Not real FBI, are you? I'm still in training at the academy. A Crawford Center trainee. Yes, I'm a student. I'm here to learn from you. Maybe you can decide for yourself whether or not I'm qualified enough to do that. That is rather slippery of you, Agent Starling. Sit, please. 
He gives me weird vibes, though. Yeah. The heart rate thing, I still, like, I can't forget. Multiple nigs in the next cell. He hissed at you. What did he say? He said, I can smell you. Oh. I see. Ham-handed segue into your questionnaire. Mm. <laughs> wow. It excites him. Most serial killers keep some sort of trophies from their victims. I didn't. No. No, you ate your... That's disgusting. You send that through now. One skins, one eats. When he speaks, his nostrils flare. He just got it's very just, eerie his feeling about it. temperament is so questionable. And he talks so gentle. Oh, Agent Starling, you think you can dissect me with this blown, blown uh, tool? No. More than one generation from poor Wyatt Trash, are you, Agent Starling? And that accent you've tried so desperately to shed, pure West Virginia. What is your father to you? Is he a coal miner? Does he stink of the land? What about it? Why don't you, why don't you look at yourself and write down what you see? Mmm. Mmm. Got him. A census taker once tried to test. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Ew. You fly back to school now, little starling. What an encounter. Y'all. Uh, uh, uh. I bit my wrist so I can die. <laughs> Look at the blood! Uh. What in the heck? I would not have had that happen to you. This courtesy is unspeakably ugly to me. Then Tom, what is that, Doc? Advancement, of course. Listen carefully. Look deep within yourself. Go seek out Miss Moffat, an old patient of mine, M-O-F-E-T. Go Doctor. now. I don't think Mix could manage again quite so soon, even though he is crazy. Go now! This is traumatizing. The whole ordeal. Wow, this traumatizing. early. Oh, that poor girl. She got a taste of what it's going to be like if that's what she wants to do, though. Hmm. My goodness. I don't think... Like, that's a very bad first taste. Like, exactly. That's not I'll, a normal I was going to say, taste. why are you going to throw a student there with the craziest, man, most manipulative dude? Like, he read her, tried to get in her mind so bad. Hi, Bill. The guy said, the worst thing you do is let, let Hannibal get in your mind. Making doors or windows to enter or exit. Uh, rule 404. She's studying, studying. I imagined you would have to. It's a tough job. Dad. How? He said he bit his wrist, didn't he? Your self storage facility right outside of downtown Baltimore, sir. Dang, that's smart. It's, it's like a really complicated puzzle. He talked to dude him. into killing himself, pretty much. I'm scared to see what's in there, guys. I would ask my driver to help you, but he detests physical labor. Stay here. I'll be back in one minute. What could possibly be behind that door? Oh, I'm scared. Is it bodies? She's in a jack. Wow. Oh, what's going to be in there? Oh, see, I'm not going in there without the door fully open where I could go. No. <laughs> I'm not climbing under there. Oh. She's a boss. Nah, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to come back. Yes. With somebody else with me. Mm -hmm. Nothing too weird yet. Just taxidermy, but my dad did taxidermy. Yeah. So. A big storage unit. The door. The door shut on her. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh. Mr. Moffat. It's an anagram, isn't it, Doctor? It's an anagram. Miss the rest of me, meaning that you rented that garage.
And they say don't take nothing from him. I don't even know how you can go back a second time. It's Thank left. you. You're bleeding, is that? It's nothing. It's a scratch. Dr. Lecter, whose head is in that bottle? You think he visualizes scenarios, exchanges? God, this guy. That doesn't interest me, Doctor. Frankly, it's it's the sort of thing that Miggs would say. What did you mean by transformation, Doctor? They make him listen to gospel a full blast. I'm offering you a psychological profile of Buffalo Bill based on the case evidence. I'll help you catch him, Clary. He's bargaining to help catch the guy who skins people. He's good. Oh, you're bargaining with him. Oh. All good things to those who wait. So he knows. I think he knows who Buffalo Bill is. Our little Billy must already be searching for that next special lady. After all it was oh my gosh. With lots of dances to run to. Talk about mind games. Got the night visions on. He's watching somebody. <laughs> I was warned about vans like these as a child. So we were taught to stay away from Maybe them. that's why my parents, because of this movie. I was getting a truck and I want to push it all the way up. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. It's just a Buffalo Bill dude, huh? Well, because of the size of her clothes? See, I don't like stuff like that. Because it makes me extra cautious now, like... I don't want y'all in the dark. I don't want y'all going out to the car. In a different river. The water leaves us no trace evidence of any kind. Oh. Up here. Elk River, West Virginia. I bet the, what's his name, Han Hannibal? Mm -hmm. I bet he could dice this guy out and tell him what he's gonna do next. He would have toyed with you, then turned to stone. Everything is so calculating. You, exactly. you have to think so much when you're in like the psyche of a criminal. So calculated. Or serial color, especially. I was just sitting looking at her. Who is that, though? I don't know. Oh, her dad. <laughs> Thank you. You see the way they were sizing her up? Yeah. Sizing if they want to listen. What's that? I'm guessing stuff so they don't smell the body they're about to mess with. Doctor Lamar, let's take a look at her. Has to be, because I knew yeah. they were about to look at the body. Uh, I can't imagine. Shape contact entrance wound over the uh, sternum, a uh, muzzle stamp at the top. Sure. Uh. A pathologist at Claxton. I better get back to that service. Lamar will hit. So it wasn't Bill? Oh, uh, glitter nail polish. It looks like town to me. Oh. So hard to hold her stomach. Two of her fingernails are broken off, and there's. She's got something in her throat. Body comes out of the water. Lots of times there's like leaves and things in the mouth. I don't know how people do this job. I could not. They don't get this intense on TV. This is a lot. Jack, what do you make of these? Ah. Mm. Oh, Victim skin removed. <laughs> it's so hard to look. This would indicate that the skin was post mortem. He takes pieces after they're gone. He takes pieces. Well, he asked her, like, are you a 14? Like, I is know. he, is he taking their skin and like trying to make a body? Like, I don't, I'm, I don't know. I'm lost kind of on Buffalo Bill. 
or what I'm lost on what he's doing with the skin. We heard about it on the radio. You mean this is like a clue from a real murder? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try to be a student, Dr. Pilcher. You ever go out for cheeseburgers and beer? Mm -hmm. That sounds great. <laughs> Are you hitting on me, Doctor? <laughs> to be very blunt, yep. Aid, kept him warm. Somebody loved him. That's a big clue. Big time. This is a specific insight. No, this isn't even that scary so far. Like, I'm cool with this. Kind of like CSI. Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds more, yeah. <laughs> Is that a well? Self said to be, and I quote, intensely concerned. Just moments ago, Senator Martin... So he killed a senator's daughter. They, they haven't found her yet. But that was the girl. It's holding my daughter. Catherine is very gentle and kind. That's the woman he put in the back of the blue van. Mm -hmm. I understand that, sir. Look, I am not just some turnkey. Mm. This is the number. So you got to give me some info. Please, I think you discuss this with him, or you let me do my job. You understand? It's bugging her. So that mom was trying to make her daughter seem more human, so he wouldn't mess mm. with her. Catch Buffalo Bill. So she wouldn't seem like an object. SWAT team surveillance, of course. There you have it. That's big for him. That's huge. Copy of the senator's offer. This offer is non-negotiable. Yes, yeah, senator gonna offer it up because her daughter got taken. No, yeah. What is your worst memory of childhood? He just asked such weird questions. Precious, you will get to hold. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. She literally has to rub the lotion on herself. I won't press charges, I promise. <laughs> now he places the lotion in the basket. It's calling her an it. It's calling her an it. <gasps> please! Oh my god, please! This is hard to watch. He places the lotion in the basket. Oh. I wanna see my mom. Oh. I wanna see my mom. He's got a heart, see? Mm. He's trying not to. <laughs> That's why he calls her it. He doesn't want her to be human. He's got something. Ah! Oh, the fingernails. Ah! Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Ah! Ah! He's so disturbed. You answer me now, or by God, you'll never leave this cell. Who is Buffalo Bill? He's going about this the wrong way. He is definitely going about it the wrong way. That mask. Why do they have that mask on him? Because yeah. he bit somebody. Oh, remember? yeah, I forgot about that, yep. And plenty of other reasons. Literally, all this for one person. He's a bad man. But Raspel had become very frightened. There was the other, the head in the jar. But if I think of any more, I will let you know. Wow. I... Oh, and Senator, just one more thing. Love your suit. This man. Meeting earlier this evening with Jeez. Senator Ruth Martin, Dr. Lecter. So he had that patient one time, and, and he knows this is definitely mm. Buffalo. Record with the proper authorities. Can you give us my name is Dr. But my name. Yeah, but my name. Access to Lecter is strictly limited. We've been getting death threats. I understand. Sir. Show them your badge. Mm -hmm. Is it true what they're saying? Some kind of vampire. Vampire. You do know the rules, ma'am. Yes, Lieutenant Boyle. I've questioned him before. That's what I'm saying, like he's just an well, I mean, I guess he kind of is an animal. The way he behaves. He's the way he behaves. But he's so smart. So smart. This is that's act why. It's this is so actually kind of cool. Good evening, Clary. I thought you might like your drawings back, Doctor. You were telling me the truth back in Baltimore, sir. Please continue now. She reads him like a book, though. Everything you need to find him is right there in those pages. And tell me how. First principles, Clary, simplicity. Read Marcus Aurelius. Of each particular thing, ask, what is it in itself? What is its nature? What does he do, this man? And don't your eyes seek out the things you want? All right, yes. Now, please tell me how. No. Man. It's your turn to tell me, Clarice. 
You don't have any more vacations to sell. Why did you leave that ranch? He's gone back with her child. It's still dark. Then something woke you, didn't it? Was it a dream? What was it? I heard a strange noise. What was it? Screaming. Some kind of screaming, like a child's voice. Thank you, Clary. Out. Tell me his name. Sorry, ma'am, I've got orders. I'd put you on a plane. No. Well, let me know when those lambs stop screaming, won't you? <laughs> he played her. Did you see the way he just yeah. gently touched her? Unless it's there. inside of there. He took her all the way back to her super traumatic experience. That, that whole thing was heavy. Well, he was a psychologist. So maybe yeah, he, well, he, he was, knows how to get yeah. into it. So I'm saying, like, he's brilliant. 30 steps ahead. Do what? He's like 30 steps ahead. Yeah, every single time. Thank you. Oh, I'm scared for their lives now. No. Oh. I know, at any minute. I know. Out. I don't know how I feel about it anymore. He's out. Well, he's out. Oh. Did somebody go up on five? No. Nobody went up. Shots fired on five. Sergeant Tate! Holy shit. We're going up. Going to him. Oh. Ah. Walking into a lion's den. I think a lion would have more humanity. Oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> I tried. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. It's Jim Pimmer. Now talk to him, damn it. Lecter is missing. And Baby. Good job, Molly. Man, let's talk about gruesome. Ah. Ringers. Can we get the strap? Buzz, where's the fucking oxygen? It's making me sick. <laughs> One old guy can do all this. Weird. We think he's on two. gun by his hand he's not moving one warning we need him alive everything about this just makes me nervous and cringy we're opening the hatch watch his hands if there's any fire it'll come from us affirm lector's too smart though that's not I, him i don't know what to believe i don't know what's gonna happen i'm nervous ew over 90. 90. Yeah, that's right, 90. Uh, pulse 84. And, uh, and the uh, patient is on 10. He killed a tourist, too. That is close. Oh my gosh. He had someone else's face on his face. Dr. May. Oh, really? He won't. He's, uh, he's out there. Explain it. He, he, he would consider that. He was wearing another man's face on his face. <laughs> It's, uh, we're back with the uh, Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill, guys. That's skin. Hot damn, Clarice. You know her. That was a hit that Hannibal gave at the very beginning. Say it again. That was a hint that Hannibal gave yeah, at, at the, the yeah, very, very, like, early. I think maybe first conversation. This is a really good movie. Just kind of gruesome, too.
I'm trying to figure out like what she's trying to connect to. She's got to look at everything. Mm -hmm. Wait, we on to something. They said that he could have sank her because he knew her. Yeah, well, that's where it first started, and the first one is where you get the most clues. The, the rest of them were the rest of them he let float. The rest of them. Different. He's a tailor or a dressmaker. Or, that's why they're all so big. He has to keep them alive so he can starve them a while so that he can loosen their Starling. skin and take Starling. What? The edge of Chicago. We'll be on the ground in 45 minutes with a. What? We wouldn't have found him without you. Nobody's going to forget that. At least of all me. Thank you very much, Mr. Crawford. I just needed a minute to take that all in and understand. Wow. Precious. She gonna eat that dog. She said, I'm so hungry. Come on, Precious. Come on, Precious. Get the dog. Come on, take that bone. Come on. Come on. Come on. Those are the moths. The, yeah, the moths. Mm -hmm. Precious. Oh, she's got his dog. Put her in that bucket. Now you give me a telephone and lower it down here. You got your dog now. Hey, mister, she needs a bed. Oh, my goodness. Hey, don't you hurt my dog! Don't you make me... Oh. I'm gonna do it, mister! We're going in. Good afternoon, um... Sorry to bother you. No, well, Lippmans don't let. No, 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 no. She's at his house. Uh, um, I really need to speak with you. They're, are they at they're the, wrong? the wrong house? Yeah. You, you, what's the problem, right officer? Well, I'm investigating the death of Frederica Bimmel. I'm so scared now. There's no one here, Jack. Clarice. Your name is? Oh, uh, Jack Gordon. Mr. Gordon. Okay. Um... I miss. No, I, I read about her in the newspaper. He's suspicious. So, do you want to come in while I look for it? Oh. Okay. You can't forget, Hannibal is still out there. We've been I forgot all about him. Because it's like two evils, which one? I can't believe she's at the right place. Well, I mean, I can't. I'm can. scared I that can't she's believe. at the right place. Are you close to catching somebody, you think? No, nothing like that at all. Oh, it's getting so weird. The moth. It's a giveaway, she knows. Look at her face. You got like a description finger is that a number very good mr Moore. sure you can use my phone and turn around spread your legs got him spread your legs put your hands in the back the gun's right there is on the she's in gone. there so low got little. a gun She needs backup. Oh, so Don't go down. Oh, golly. Don't go down there. Go run outside, call for backup, then come back inside. Don't go be a hero right now. She is a hero already at this point, but oh, no, she this a hero, is another like... creature. <laughs> Is that it? Did you see that? She making that like a... Hi! You're safe! Safe! Get me out of here! I'm just safe. I, ain't, I want out. I don't feel safe. I'm behind the screen and I don't feel safe. No! Don't you leave me here, you fucking... Oh! No, She's trying to save you! She's crazy! Just imagine, she's scared out of her mind. Oh. He's looking straight at her. Yeah, because she's in the dark. I'm so nervous for her right now. Um.
Got him. Ah. Good. Oh. She's quick to the trigger. <sighs> she heard that click of his gun. She's quick to the trigger. Gunpowder, it's nothing. Agent okay. Starling, how did you track Buffalo Bill to this address? She went from student to being thrown mm -hmm. in the fire to she saved Sullivan. She the senator's there. daughter. Clarice M. Starling. Just that gives her recognition on a platform mm -hmm. way bigger than <laughs> supporting her. Ernest W. Congratulations, <laughs> man. Phone call. Excuse me. She's probably, everyone probably talks about her now. Mm -hmm. She caught the famous Hilch. Buffalo Bill. Or what was, that was the name, right, Buffalo Bill? Look, I just wanted to say congratulations. <laughs> And uh, I'm not much good at this kind of thing, so I'm gonna duck out. Just wrapping it up. I was starting to relax. Dang it. Starling. Wow, Clarice. Have the lamb stopped screaming? I'm having an old friend for dinner. Oh, he said I'm having an old friend for dinner. I was I was just wondering, like, what does he really mean by that? We have the big shots in here. Thank you. I appreciate that. Get the head of the him. hospital he was at, or the jail, or whatever it was. He's gonna get him. Guys, I have so much to talk to y'all about. Holy cow! What a movie! Like I thought, I thought it was gonna be super scary, but it was actually a really good movie. Cause like, like you said, it's like the criminal minds. Like they were trying to figure out how these guys think. As I don't, I don't know why I was expecting to be like killer. Like uh, what's that one like? Chainsaw Massacre or yeah, Freddy, okay, like yeah, that yeah, type yeah, yeah. of stuff. But it was really cool, but gruesome at times. Right, so I was thinking at the beginning of the movie, like, oh wait, I really like this because, like we've mentioned, Criminal Minds is one of my favorite shows, and this obviously has to be kind of where they got the idea because it's the criminal psyche. So I thought it was really interesting, but then, guys, it turned pretty gruesome. It turned wild for I don't, a minute. I don't do <laughs> gruesome, but the storyline, everything about the storyline was no, the storyline was really good. Amazing. In it. And then, like, the the Silence of the Lambs as the movie title, and then that kind of see, being her deal, you yeah. know? She had to save this one lamb, and she couldn't she, save the yeah, lamb. Exactly. And then the lamb, the raw lamb, I'm wondering how many more uh, references to lambs that I possibly missed. I probably only picked up, like, three, but, like, right. everything in general was just such a but, crazy story, but such a really cool plot. I wonder if her lamb silenced that now she... But he asked I, her. I know, now that she was able to save at least one well, lamb, yeah. that, 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 that woman, you know? But the fact that Hannibal's still out there is Mind-blowing. And mind then blowing. Buffalo Bill just having just mental health being that... That's because that's what he weirdo. said was the, everything about it but was just... That was I creepy. I would want to watch it again just because I feel like it was so deep and like there's so much that you could read into what Hannibal says that maybe we miss that like I'm like oh I get it I get it now because he was so like like who, I said 30 steps ahead who played him because the guy who played him was absolutely perfect the, for the role like once they mentioned that his heart rate didn't go up when he murdered somebody I like you could really see that in his demeanor everything about him yeah. was just so calm well, he was such it was a brilliant eerie, mind it was an eerie calm there was something just wrong, wrong and twisted there wrong and twisted but y'all thought y'all was gonna scare you your boy Jay, hey, y'all gotta give me something. He was scared. It was gross. Hey, well, y'all gotta give me something a little more scarier than that. But he guys, needs something that jumps at him. He doesn't like that jumpy stuff. Dark, yeah. <laughs> dark stuff like really. Dark. Or like ghost stuff. Ghost like, I, I don't play with ghosts. Yeah. He don't doesn't do like it. that stuff. That's the kind of scary movies <laughs> I used to watch. This kind of stuff is a little new for me. But guys, thank you so much. We hope you had an amazing time here at the Rob Squad Home Theater with us, your boy Jay, and your girl Amber. <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you guys later. later.